Now, he has just released his first solo album in 30 years, inspired in many ways by his prostate cancer diagnosis. Duran Duran's Andy Taylor is here. And it all sort of, it's all happening, it all follows a reunion earlier this year with his former bandmates. That was just gorgeous. I could just listen to that <laughs> all the time. How are you doing? Great. Are you doing good? I, um, I've had two rounds of this treatment over the past couple of months and uh, I'm like, from the walking dead to the singing, dancing. I know, and it's incredible because, you know, you, in many ways, shouldn't be here. In some ways, I when, guess. When I was diagnosed five years ago, yeah. um, that was kind of the, that was the time span you had. There wasn't wow. the treatments available there True. are now. So I had to live with that, and, and well, my family had to live with it, yeah. and then, after missing the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, oh, the know. biggest night of my life, I know. Um, someone, uh, a guardian angel, intervened and said, I think there's something that could work for, for you. And look at you, and, and, and you've just done this album. I finished the album yeah. on a high, as opposed to thinking it might be my last solo album. Right. Whereas it's not, it's just the start, because you're going to do, a, you're going to do <laughs> yeah. another one. And already doing incredibly well, it was Radio 2's, it is Radio 2's album of the week. Radio 2 album, uh, last Thursday, uh, I got a message saying, you've been uh, chosen as Radio 2 album of the week next week. And I'm like, hold on, prank. <laughs> <laughs> <Even> for, <laughs> They're trying to make me feel good. No! <laughs> and then I thought, wow, of all the albums that are released, I'm 62. So getting a break at 62 is more fun than getting a break at 16 you know in a lot of ways. Is, actually, yeah, I know when you think exciting. of all that you've achieved with the band and solo, and that this means the world. The single, um, This Will Be Ours, can we have, let's have, let's have a listen. And that you were saying that was shot at the back of the house in a field. We jumped, at, yeah, <laughs> we shot it in the cornfield at the back of the house. Oh, it's, it's a really uplifting album as well. You know, there, there are tracks in it that are very profound and obviously, you know, from your experiences, coming from your experience of living with cancer. But an awful lot of it, it just makes you feel better. I think that's the spirit of the record, whereas right. but I've been working and I mean, music's the greatest therapy you can have when you're in the doldrums. Yeah. So I've always been working on it. The creative mind doesn't shut down. But when I got the news that there was a treatment and I could move forward, the album kind of went from a darker album to a more uplifting yeah. album. And that's actually a, a journalist friend of mine, he says, I can hear the spirit of you, maybe the younger spirit of you in you. And I said, well, it's kind of the nearest thing to being born again. Yes. <laughs> when you, you know, when you, li I said, I'm in this little kind of dreamy space of, sure. have I really got past this? Am I, am I really able to, you know, am I, I'm, to do this? Yeah, I so, would say that, that it's, it's optimistic. You know, it feels, you can feel that when you're listening to it. There's well, real optimism yeah. there. Even, even, you know, with the blues, the lyrics are sad, but the music's uplifting. Exactly. And yeah. that, that's, you know, that thing that keeps you going. Your, your creative mind doesn't shut down, even if the rest of your body's not doing that, too well. That's true. And, and it's uh, man's yeah. a wolf to man, is what man's it's called. Man's a wolf called. to man. Yeah. Is, where's that come from? Well, it's, <laughs> the inspiration of it comes from conflict. And right. watching what happened from, from Brexit when I started writing this stuff and this kind of extreme conflict, you know, it's got pretty yes, two-sided and quite extreme. Absolutely, I agree, yeah. And so you see people politically acting like packs of wolves. Ah, right? that makes and, sense. And, and, that, and it comes from a deeper philosophy, a deeper political, political philosophy of civilising yourself yeah. or just remain like feudal. And we've gone to being feudal and wolf-like. And throwing rocks at each other and not listening to each other. That's the well, thing, isn't it? We don't you know, listen to each those other. Those videos anymore. aren't made up of all the violence on the streets and stuff. Mm. No, they're real. And, you know, you do see that kind of, particularly in America, which is a place I've got very close to my heart. Of course. Had a great I mean, you, career in America. You did. And that's the most difficult thing of all, is to crack America. And you, you guys did. And, of course, we've seen you back together, Duran Duran. Are we going to see that? More of that? Are you going to do... Some more I th well, the, there's a new our new Duran album yeah, coming out yeah. at the end of October, which I'm playing on, like most of. Great. Um, which I did in um, March and April. Simon came over to my place when I was still, I was on the up, right. but I wasn't, I hadn't started any treatment. But right. We, okay. And uh, I did it. I did it in about two days. I cursed myself out if it takes me more than three days to record an album playing <laughs> guitar. Right. It's, I should know better at my age, but. I, 
it was funny because, you know, you put the tracks up, it's like, where are we going to go? And within minutes, just locked in. Yeah. It's like, I, and so um, that comes out at the end of, of October. So uh, technically, I've got two records coming out. I know, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? It is incredible. It is. I mean, I have to laugh about it because you just don't, know, you know. I always say in our business, you never know what's going to happen today. Yeah. You never know what song you're going to write, what's going to happen, if, how people are going to react. Mm. But on this level, you know, the unexpected has been spectacular. It has, and you have absolutely seized the day and made the most of a, a, of a really, really hard situation, a really tough situation. And you know what? Every time you talk about prostate cancer and you say, get checked, it mm. saves lives as well. I didn't want to be a, a, a sitting down, moaning patient. Mm -hmm. When I got this, uh, you know, I said to the doctors, if I'm OK to start work gently, and they said, if you feel OK, listen to your body, yeah. then, then, then go for it. And it's enabled me to talk about my experience where, because I didn't know about this treatment. Mm -hmm. I thought I was clued up and I didn't know about it until yeah. December. So I figured no one knows about it. Mm. And that's what I've come to find out. There's quite a lot of, of people have, uh, have got in touch with the uh, Cancer Awareness Trust, which yeah. is uh, Sir Chris who's helped me, um, seeking information on the treatment. And I think some people have been referred for it. So mm. it's, there's such a lack of awareness of what's available. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest, it's not that these treatments aren't available. It's, they don't know. You don't know. People don't know. Yeah, you're absolutely And like right. I say, there's all these treatments available. Who knew? Someone does, yeah. but they're not telling us. I know, and that's, it's really, really important that you, that you talk about that. And please keep well. I'm not going to do keep anything. Keep playing, so. keep playing, um, you know, and obviously we're going to be hearing a lot of the single and the album, especially on Radio 2, which is really good. And the new album, Man's Wolf to Man, is out now, right now, and the right single now. too. It's Today. So, it's so lovely to talk to you. It That's really great. is. Thanks First time so here. much. I know, for goodness sake. Yeah. It seems I, silly. I had to wait till I got my bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too. But you get 30% off on the trains. They isn't it marvellous? It's yeah. it, when you the get joys. to the bottom and you get the discount. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? So there. <laughs>